Okay, my wonderful friends, Roger in an exceptionally good mood today, talking about the European Space Agency. My friend from there sent me this, and they're talking about the Amazon rainforest in Brazil, the Earth from space. And I say, ooh, look at this river system snaking through the Amazon. Ooh, 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 did I say snaking? I, I meant to say serpenting. And you say, well, Roger, what do you mean by serpenting? Well, here's what I mean. Okay, now this is why I say serpenting. And I mean, I'm sorry, this is very, very hard to accept. I understand that. But if you're looking at the Earth from space and you can't see this, I don't know why. That is a gigantic fish. Now, these things were written about in the ancient text, and I think that's why there's so much pushback to this. And that is a gigantic fish. I'm sorry, that's what it is. That's its fin, and above it is a dragon. Now, whenever they talk about space anymore, they're always talking about dragon heavy this and dragon low that and a dragon, all kinds of things about the ancient texts, about the serpents and about... Um, Shiva and all these things, they understand these things were written about and they think they, they treat them as a joke, I, th I think. Maybe they really fully understand. But when you see this and you see, I hope you can see it's a dragon, the nose comes around here and they're all over the earth. I'm going to show you another one and, and, I, and it look, has that exact same pattern. I'll show you it, no question. This is that fluty stuff that runs down the neck of a dragon. Now let's back out and see the dragon in its totality, which is this entire mountain range, the Atlas Mountain Range. And you say, oh, come on, Roger, that can't be. I said, well, let's just take a look. This is the neck. First of all, there's the head. This is the neck running down. Now, why would this happen? And why would all this fluty, flashy stuff that they put on the sides of dragons in China, why would that happen? And why would all these dragon scales just happen to be looking to be, you know, like a dragon scaled throat? I mean, it's a dragon scaled throat. And that's the whole thing around. And guess what happened? These are all dragon scales. And these are what I call dragon plates. You have the scales. Click, 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 and then you have the plates. The plates are, you know, some of them overlap, but most of them in the neck are jointed so that they can twist their neck back and forth. But it's, a, it's heavily armored. However, we get down to here, and we find a slash across this dragon's throat. And that dragon's throat is slashed there. And that is blood. I know this stuff extremely well. Nobody can stand in front of me and say I'm wrong and then and back it up. I can back up every single word I'm saying. Now, that is a slash. This is it bled out here in the desert. And that is the decaying effluent of a dead body. And I, I can show these autopsy shots. I have shown them. They're a little gruesome. But you see the exact same thing. It runs off of a dead body. The fluids just leach out. Now, this runs all the way down. It went through the digestive system. It has a cloaca. And these are the legs. All of this red stuff appears to be the, the wings. It appeared to have gigantic wings. And then if you just keep going and going and going and going and going, this is, I'll, I'll just stop down here, but this is the tail, and you can see all the runoff of the same stuff as before. It's all dead and decaying and running off. And if you continue this on, it goes on and on and on, and it flashes out here. They all had this little fluty, flashy tail thing. You see it all here? Now, I'm going to show you something about the feathered serpent on the east coast of the United States. And I, you saw that thing in the Amazon. Let's just go back to here. All right, there's that Amazon squirrely looking thing. Now, if I come back to here, uh, where was I here? This is the exact same situation. Whoop. Earth is out of control. Get back here. All right, now.
let's turn the earth around a little bit right, and let's see what we got right here remember that snaky looking oh I'm sorry serpenty looking thing you see that serpenty looking well let me show you something that's gonna blow your mind why is this color this color and that color that color you know, well it's a difference in crops well true the vegetation is different why is the vegetation different I can tell you why this is a dragon this is something else and probably from some red-blooded thing and look at this this is the edge of that dragon's nose you see that and it runs the entire and, and it's everywhere on these dragons there that's why you where, when you see this in where there's still a lot of moisture around where there's deserts they that, that stuff's gone but this is the the um, little beard that they have they have a little tushy beard now this is the feathered serpent and that is the feathers running up straight up the top of his head you see this now I'm sorry to to have to force this into people's minds but if you don't take this into account you're literally walking around in circles you got one oar in the water you're just going around and around and around in circles have no idea what you're looking at until you look at things with a new perspective and you have to open up your mind and your eyes so big that you see that as a feather because that's exactly what it is those are feathers you see that and they run all the way up the East Coast because this was the feathered serpent and you can see all of that same squirrely looking serpenty looking stuff all over this serpent you see it that is not your natural average looking stuff now you say, oh, they just cut these patterns of um, fields. Well, no, they're following the patterns of the of the contour of that dragon's body, and primarily it looks like there are a lot of little rivery looking things. But this is the beard of these dragons. They have that beard coming down. They all have that. In the, all, all the ancient texts have. Well, here, let me show you something first of all hopefully you understand this and I believe Iron Mountain somewhere over in this area is the heart I can't remember where it is but it's um but you could see this is not you know they always used to say oh that's just push to shove of, of um, tectonic I don't know plate activity or something it's not these are feathers and this is a gigantic dragon that ruled this region not that other one in, in Africa. <clears throat> and then they're, they're all over the earth. I, I mean all over. Now I think the earth underneath these dragons was titans and, and all that stuff that was all written about. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just going with what I'm seeing. And I'm seeing things like this that are very, very difficult to explain extremely difficult to just walk away from and say oh that's nothing but that's what's happened now if if NASA and ESA you know the European Space Agency all these people want to see things I have things and I have things in my possession that are in space that are in my shop are de identical identical so I think it's time to talk to Roger all right so that's what I would suggest if you don't want, want to put both oars back in the water. Thank you. I love you all.